All right. Um, yeah, disappointing loss. You know, I, I give a lot of credit to uh, uh, Eastern Michigan. That's a that's a really well coached team by uh, Coach Creighton. Um, you can tell that he's been working at it for a while here, and, and has developed, uh, you know, over the years, a, a, re a really good roster and a, a team that doesn't make very many mistakes and has a lot of discipline. Man, you know, um, you know, uh, interesting week for us. Uh, you know, just dealing with the logistics of all the COVID issues last week, and you know, uh, and again, we we ended up getting a few guys back. We we're still 19 guys out. We still travel some guys on game day today uh, who left. Uh, you know, Sam Marcus this morning at 3.30 and got here in Detroit. And, um, you know, but like when it when it gets down to it all, you know, they out executed us. They stayed on the field on third downs. Our, our offense was um, we were struggling with that up front. We were moving guys around. Uh, uh, they had, they we had some success at times offensively, but the inconsistencies are still there. You know, I don't think we're ever in a third down to short. You know, we end up hitting some negative plays at times. Uh, they caught us in a few things. I did think that, you know, Brady ended up making some plays at times, uh, but we got to help him out, man. We got to be able to protect a little bit longer. We got to be able to to be more efficient and on, on the perimeter and the pass game and getting open and making plays. Uh, you know, defensively, we got to be able to get off third down, off the field on third down. Uh, you know, they they scored a lot of points right there because, you know, I, I think right now that we're we're uh, we're lacking in depth. We're, uh, we're kind of very similar to where we were at last year. Uh, as bye week comes at a good time uh, for us to get back to Texas to to get healthy again and kind of get our stinger back, um, you know, uh, that, that's just kind of where we're at. It's a disappointing loss, but I give a lot of credit to uh, that football team with Eastern Michigan and Coach Creighton. They, they do a good job, and I think they're a, a very solid program. You know? uh, but look forward to getting back to this bye week and kind of getting everything wrapped up uh, and try to get back healthy, work through some of these uh, these issues that we got. Uh, and then, uh, and then the focus goes on to South Alabama. But we we can't be moving on to South Alabama. We got to be worried about us right now this week and and fix and make our corrections and and uh, uh, figure out where we're going to be from a health standpoint moving forward. So questions, um, Coach. You know, it, it seemed like two weeks ago you guys. Oh, can you hear me, Coach? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Um, Two weeks ago, you guys had a lot of success against um, FIU and the run heavy scheme that they have. Um, what was different today where it seemed like y'all struggled a little bit to stop the run? Yeah, I thought they were very good up front and I, we are lacking of depth. I'm telling you, like we, we kind of got back to, you kind of get into these issues, man. You got like Anthony Shifton that came back and he actually traveled, but you know, he hadn't been practicing much. Savion Patton left his house at 115 this morning and and we put them in, you know, and it's just they, they had to get to rep it much, and we didn't do a lot of things uh, that was necessary. Uh, and I didn't think we wrapped up well, didn't tackle. Um, you know, like, we, we knew what they were doing. You know, that was, that, that was the thing. Like, we knew that when they were going to run the ball, we knew when they were going to throw the ball. They caught us on a screen one time, which is a good play call with that. But, you know, it got to the point where, you know, it was like last year we started, like, having some issues covering them uh, because we're loading the box. And, like, you know, we had some in, in, inconsistencies of tackling them. Uh, but, you know, when we did start getting them behind the chains, you know, we started like they started throwing some one on one matchups. We had too many uh, penalties, too many pass interferences, too many holdings. Uh, then we went into our drop eight stuff just to, to help out that. But then at that point, the quarterback had uh, a million. He had the longest time to actually yeah. sit back and throw. And then you saw that. And, uh, you know, it, it just turned back into a guessing game on trying to help our personnel out. You know, I think. You know, yeah, Cordell Rogers got back today. Uh, you know, he just hadn't repped at all week. We had him from an emergency standpoint. Chris Mills went down, uh, would have, went into concussion protocol right after uh, really in the first half. Uh, so he went back down to two DBs. Uh, Tory Spears came in and played a lot for us, uh, which was good. We had a lot better answers at times uh, from what we had last week with our debt. But right now we got to get to this bye week. We got to get these guys back healthy and we got to get our stinger back because, you know, we're, we're, we're still playing that guessing game of what we did last year. You, you kind of mentioned, um, you know, you guys weren't – it didn't seem like y'all were wrapping up guys defensively, which is kind of uncharacteristic for y'all. What do you feel like was happening there? I just think it's kind of like the, the positions that we're putting them in, you know, um, in terms of like that we had to move guys around, you know, and, they're, I, and I, I'm searching for that, too, because I've seen these guys make tackles. You look at the first two games, they tackle, you know, like they got the capability of doing it. You know, the last week we had a bunch of issues with depth, you know, and then with that we didn't tackle like what we wanted to. And and then right now, you know, I, I think we're still searching for 
you know, these guys. Now, some of them made tackles at times, but, like, the consistency of it. They won those one-on-one -on -one battles uh, the entire game, you know. And, and we had calls that were right, and we had it into, you know, positions where we can hit for negative yards, and the guy makes two or three guys miss, and he moves on, you know. So we, we've got to get back to figuring out, like, how we – like, and we rep this nonstop, you know. And, uh, you know, we got to be a lot better at that. we got to be able to tackle those guys, especially a run-heavy team like they are. Yeah. Um, you – Kind of mentioned Brady, you know, had some big plays today. How would you rate his performance um, against Eastern Michigan? Yeah, like, I thought he made some really good plays. We got to help him out, man. I'm telling you, like, you know, like, I, I called a, a pretty generic game at the beginning. I was running the football, uh, you know, uh, but then sometimes the inconsistencies of that, you know, put it in a third down along, and we got to protect. And it, it's tough when they're in wide five techniques and they're rushing up the field and, and forcing them to step up. You know, and it, it was difficult at times to get to his second and third read. You see how many times we end up getting sacked. And, you know, Brady's a scramble guy, too. Made two great plays on the scramble. Uh, you know, but, like, there was a couple drop balls that he had uh, that could have been, you know, to put us in some manageable situations. We're still, you know, like, where we're, where we're at offensively, like, we have the ability to move and go. And, like, you you see, like, sometimes we look at, like, an unbelievable offense and we're, we're working stuff on the perimeter. We're handing the ball off and, and it's working. And we're, we're working and we're making some plays as well. And then we look like we don't know what we're doing at times and the inconsistencies. And, like, you know, you start off and you hit a good first down call and it's second down and five. The next thing you know, it's like it's third down and ten. And I don't even think we were in a third down and short all game. You know, I think, you know, like it was either we were scoring, we were moving the ball like effectively or we were sputtering and, you know, we were three and out at times and, and we didn't look like we didn't know what we were doing. So, um, you know, Brady's great. You know, I got to look at it a little, little bit more, but, you know, it, it's tough to, you know, throw into a four man rush at times, you know, and, and, and Coach Turner did a great job at trying to move those guys around, you know, like. We moved Eddie to right tackle this week because of how big of a defensive front they were. We put Liam Dobson at left guard. Uh, then, you know, Eddie just still coming off of surgery, still not as healthy as he, as we want him to be. Dalton Cooper was was pretty sick at times, too, in this game, uh, just from an illness. So we were moving him around. And, and uh, you know, we had Liam go back to right tackle. And, you know, like, it, it's just we were searching up front. Like, I really think every single person is looking at what they can do better and how we can get the right product on the field right now, you know. Uh, I can't wait to get this bye week and, and work through these issues so we can at least get an idea of who's going to be playing and we can move forward and, and focus on South Alabama. Um, Coach, what were some of the positives that you took away from this game? You know, I thought I think those the kids played till the end, man. They, they like the energy on the sideline was great. You know, we're we're showing up. There's not any negativity. Like these kids know exactly where it's at. Like the message in the locker room, I didn't have to say much. Like they were already talking when I got in there. You know, because they know the capability of this team. They know what we're what we did. Like the product that we put on the field the first two weeks. You know. Uh, playing together and tackling and making plays on defense and getting off the field on third downs and the offense making critical plays at times and and being able to score and playing complimentary football like they know we're capable of doing it you know right now our stingers bent right now and uh, because like one it's it's depth it's uh it's people playing out of position you know like you have 19 guys out in this game you know like it, it that's going to make a, a play an effect on anybody but you know at the same time we still got to go out there and execute like that that's what it, it comes down to and and um you know, I, 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 these kids are going to keep fighting. You know, we're going to show up. You know, like it, it, it's who we are. We got to look ourselves in the mirror, really. It, it's really not looking ourselves in the mirror. It's it's more about how can we find the right guys to put in the right position moving forward. I think that with these COVID issues, it's going to be we get the whole team back early on Wednesday of this week, and and we should be ready to roll, you know, um, and move forward to South Alabama. And, and um, you know, we got to go play clean football. You know, we got to be able to make plays and – and we've got to get off the off the field on third downs. We got to we got to make stops and play together like what we did in those first two weeks. And so, what changes do you think need to happen over the next two weeks before you guys take on South Alabama? Yeah, I think I think we got to figure out wh where we're at with like depth issues, and and then we can move forward. You know, um, you know, like I, I I know these schemes work. I know like I've seen it. Like we have, we've we've shut it down. We've had you know the first two opponents that we played. They all you know call us afterwards, and you know they're. You know, they, they understand where we're at, you know, uh, and now, you know, we were playing some pretty good football in those first two weeks. You know, the last two weeks have been we've been all over the place, man. And, you know, we, we got to work our way through the uh, who we're going to put out there. And, uh, you know, we got to we got to make sure that we, we keep showing up and going to work. You know, we got we're going to fix a lot of it tomorrow in terms of meetings and we'll practice them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And 
and then uh, hopefully we get them healthy and then we'll start on the South Alabama. So, you know, there, there's still, there's a lot of corrections, you know, like it's kind of a vague answer, but like you, you see it, like there's, there's times where everybody on the entire field had their moments, you know, and I, I got to be able to, you know, to understand what kids are capable of doing. And, and, and uh, you know, like I'm, I'm so used to like, we were down, we we're down Waydell, Waydell's out, you're down toe as well. You know, you end up having a couple of injuries like Barbie got hurt and went down. I had TJ Graham, we didn't talk about him. Like he's, he showed up, you know, it was good. So we got to get him back going again, you know, and, and uh, cause you know, he was a little bit down at the beginning of fall camp and everything. Ashton Hawkins, uh, his confidence is up and down. He dropped the ball early and like, kind of lost his, uh, lost his uh, edge a little bit. Uh, you know, I can go on and on with like everybody, like, you know, we, we all got to figure out like what's the product that we're going to be able to put out in the field for South Alabama. And, and I think it's going to get a lot better because we're going to get a lot of guys back. Awesome.